what's up guys welcome back to hmht so finally after two weeks we now have a new watch os beta update and it's watch os 7.4 beta 4. I have to mention that at the time I'm re recording this video, this update is available to public beta testers and to developer beta testers. So even if you have the public beta profile, this is an update that you can always check out. And this is the Apple developer website. I just want to show you some other updates that Apple released today. So you can see that they released macOS Pixel 11.3 beta 4. I'll be doing a video on that. And they released iOS 14.5 beta 4 as well as I iPadOS 14.5 beta 4 and they released watchOS 7.4 beta 4 and also tvOS 14.5 beta 4 so as you can see all these updates came out to developer beta testers and to public beta testers so it's been a busy day for apple and i'm going to be doing videos on most of the these updates that you see here so make sure you subscribe and stick around and now for me on my uh, apple watch series 6 that you see here this update actually came in as a standard regular update size file since i was already on watch away 7.4 beta 3 i actually got an update size that was 129 mbs and this is for the apple watch series 6 if you have a different series and are coming from a different version of watch os then expect the update size file to be different other than that if we go to see the software changes within this operating system so if you go to the out general and then go to the about right there you can see the new software version that we have here so watch away 7.4 and the build number that we have on beta 4 is 18t 5183b we now have a b at the end and previously on beta 3 we actually had 18t 5169f so we jumped from an f to a b which is good sign of progress actually it just goes to show that this update is about four steps in the positive direction which is a good thing and then also i made sure to check how much storage was being taken by this update before i went to beta 4 so if we go to the usage there just takes a moment to load and on beta 4 you can see that the available space is 23.1 gig previously on beta 3 the available space was 21.3 gig so i gained quite an, a lot of storage right there and then also the used space on beta 4 as you can see is 3.5 gigs and previously on beta 3 it was 3.8 gigs so roughly i gained about 300 to 400 mbs of storage back and that's actually more than the update size itself by four times three to four hundred megabytes of storage gained on an apple watch is actually a lot because not a lot of updates provide such a return in terms of storage so it's good to see that apple is getting something right now if we were to talk about the new features and changes that came with this watch always update the first one has to do with something that i tweeted about today and it's what happens when you put on your apple watch on your risk and you don't put on the passcode however you unlock your iphone there's a new splash screen or animation that shows up where it says that the apple watch has been unlocked by the iphone so just like how you can unlock your iphone while wearing a mask and using your apple watch you can now unlock your apple watch with your iphone and you see that new splash screen it only shows up once in the morning and after that it's done and you just basically have to wait for the next day and when the next day comes just put on your apple watch don't unlock it manually just put it on and then unlock your iphone you will see the new splash screen that i'm talking about it's very hard to record since in order for you to do a screen recording you have to unlock your apple watch but it's something that is new with this update another thing that changed with this update has to do with early hand wash detection and also continuous countdown even when the water stops running so basically for me what was happening was that i would go to wash my hands so i opened the water tap like this and then i wash my hand of course the apple watch starts counting at from around 16 seconds and then what happens is once i have enough soap on my hand and i close the water so that i don't waste in a lot of water what happens is that my apple watch would actually stop counting down so that was an issue so now with watch away 7.4 beta 4 it actually continues to count even though you know you've stopped the water it continues to detect that hand motion of you washing your hand which is a good thing and you don't have to waste so much water in order for the apple watch to keep counting down which is a good thing that came with this update 
And also one of the other changes that I have to mention has to do with the way this update took place. So the update process was super quick and seamless. It did not delay and it's one of the best updates that I've seen. So I guess Apple is getting something right. And also it show, goes to show that, you know, we are getting closer and closer to a better build or a final build that will be ultimately the most stable build. The last thing that I have to mention has to do with haptic feedback. So the haptic feedback you feel and the sound you feel when you unlock your iPhone when wearing a mask while using your Apple Watch has been tweaked a little bit, not much of a change, but the haptics is more real. You can sort of feel it and the sound doesn't feel like a certain animal crying it's it's a little bit better compared to what i had before and i like the new sound it's although it's not a lot of changes there now when it comes to some of the issues that are there with this update there's a lot of issues that people are reporting when it comes to workouts or activities whereby sometimes the workout app won't even at all detect motion so that was an issue on beta 3 and on beta 4 i'm still to test it out and once i gather all my facts i'll be able to tweet about it but there's an issue when it comes to movement exercises and sometimes even just walking your steps the apple watch will not be able to record that and sometimes it will show you the wrong bpm and also the standing motion will not be detected. So that seems to be quite a serious issue. And also another thing that people are reporting as an issue, although I, I think it's more of a security concern here has to do with Apple Pay. So you know how when you're wearing a mask and you try to use Apple Pay on your device, it will ask you for a passcode and it will not unlock Apple Pay using an Apple Watch like how you can unlock your iPhone whilst wearing a mask using an Apple Watch. And I think that Apple is not going to allow this anytime soon until they can sort of make it more secure because, well, if someone is able to get hold of your Apple Watch and put it on, then they can be able to access your Apple Pay and actually do transaction, which you know won't be the most secure and it might lead to financial losses so i think it's not an issue but it's more of a security concern why apple it hasn't allowed you to be able to use apple pay when you are wearing your apple watch without using a passcode now other than that let's talk about battery performance so if we go to the settings here and then go to the battery section which is right here so if we go to the battery right there you can see that i have 81 percent and basically i connected my apple watch to the charger around about uh, seven or eight o'clock as you can see there and then i did the software update and i took it off the charger around 11 and since then my watch has lost like 19 percent so i charged it to 100 and right now i've lost 19 percent it's on 81 percent which is not too bad and if we go to the battery health right there you can see that my maximum health capacity is on 96 percent still the same as was on beta 3 but from beta 2 to beta 3 i lost about uh one percent i believe and then if we look at the overall performance of this watch i mean i'm happy with it if we open an application like pong you can see that there's no gila delay and also there is no drag when when playing a game like this i use this to test it out just to see how it performs but other than that i think performance overall it's good and they have been quite a number of updates when it comes to apple default applications like the music app so if your songs were not loading up before or if your albums were not loading up before those have actually been fixed and when we can sort of expect to see this update well according to different sources there is an apple rumored event that's supposed to take place next week on tuesday on the 23rd so if that's so then we can sort of expect this update to officially come out on tuesday the 23rd if not, and there's no Apple event, then perhaps we just get like the release candidate version next week. And then from there after the RC, we'll get the official version. Now, other than that, that's how this update came in for me. And those are the changes that I managed to notice. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.